All right, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video. So today we are going to be checking out the contents of the latest global data download that we got this morning. And uh, of course, real quick, before we get into it, I want to give a shout out to my boy Proton10MG on Twitter for posting all these assets. If you guys aren't already following him, then definitely go ahead and do so. And uh, with that said, let's scroll down a little bit here and start with the uh, new int chili. There's her SSR form, there's the CUR, as well as the Fizz Fascia. There's the SSR and the TUR. And both of these units will be arriving on a Rising Dragon Carnival banner, which means that's gonna be double rates, but it will have no featured LRs or no confess units. And I'm gonna say this right now, uh, as far as value for your stones go, this banner is gonna be pretty bad. It's going to be a pretty bad banner. Most people should probably skip it, but it's going to take a lot of willpower for me to not summon because I actually really want these units, especially the Chilai, who is a very interesting support. And uh, a little bit later in the video, we'll talk about exactly what both of them uh, actually do. Okay, so with that said, let's keep going. We got stage 61 of Super Battle Road low class warriors only and also a couple of extreme Z battle events the first one is for the lr gt trio there is the extreme z awakening medal and then the other extreme z battle is extreme z battle heroines edition 2 um the weakness is peppy gals and as far as the release date goes oh by the way the uh, weakness for the gt trio is bond of friendship and this one's dropping on the 12th, but the uh, Heroines one is dropping on the 17th. Okay, so about a week after, or roughly five days after. So there's the logo, there's the event banner. These are the four units getting Extreme Z Awakenings. And then we have, uh, of course, their Extreme Z Awakening medals right there. So a total of five summonable Extreme Z Awakenings right there. And then we have the 14th Peton Battle as well, starting in the 12th. This is the Series 7 pack. I think the actual stickers or cards are already in the database, so they're not included here. And uh, finally, an Explosive Chain Battle. Explosive Chain Battle 24 versus Oceanus Shenron. Uh, these are the missions. Uh, some more upcoming missions for the campaign. And uh, that is pretty much it, guys. That was the data download. Like I said, though, before we go, we're going to check out the uh, details for uh, these ladies right here because the Chilai especially is actually very interesting and I really want this unit, man. I actually really do. Like, I just, I got to think about it because, as I said, really bad banner. Their banner is going to be really bad, but sometimes you just got to do the dumb thing. You just got to you know, to what feels right, and I think I will probably be making a, a summoning video for their banner, despite my better judgment. Anyways, starting with the Int Chilai, leader skill is bot friendship, category key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 130%, and super attack greatly raises defense. For one turn, it causes supreme damage and seals super attack with a high chance of stunning the enemy. So not only does she seal, she also has a high chance to stun. And then on her passive, she gets Q plus 3, defense plus 139%. For C's enemy super attack within the character's attacking turn. So uh, she can always, you know, as long as she's on rotation, she can always tell where the super attack is coming. And then randomly changes key spheres of a certain type to rainbow key spheres. Great chance of evading enemy's attack, including super attack, plus an additional defense plus 39% within the same turn, with each attack evaded, including super attacks. Recovers 39% HP at the end of turn every time the character evades 3 attacks, including super attacks in battle, up to 3 times, and then all allies keep plus 3, and attack and events plus 39%, self excluded. So this is kind of interesting, because most support units do get the benefit of their you know, own support passive, right? But for some reason, they decided to not give her the support passive, um, not sure why, but that's a thing, kind of weird. Anyways, um, 
as I said earlier guys, she is just the ultimate support. She is the ultimate support unit. She's got uh, the, the stun, she's got the dodge, she's got the seal, she's got orb changing, healing, um, the support of course, keep plus 3 is having defense plus 39% for all allies is also very very good. And uh, I feel like I, I, I forgot something, uh, the dodge, she's getting a lot of defense with every dodge, so she's also good at staying alive, right? So um, just the ultimate support slash utility unit, I guess, and yeah, I just really want this unit. <laughs> I mean, aside from the fact that Sheila is awesome, it's a great character, of course, um, this unit is just really, really cool. And uh, if you're expecting like damage numbers, she will give you nothing, okay? She does not do damage, like at all, basically. But she does literally everything else that a unit could possibly do. Oh, I forgot, she can force the enemy super attacks. That's like the most important aspect. That's actually the best part of this unit. The ability to, you know, tell where super attacks are coming so you can actually put this unit or your better tank in front of that super attack to keep you alive, right? So. Um, yeah, just a really cool unit. Uh, Lynx, Flea, Cold Judgment, Battlefield Diva, New Frieza Army, Solid Support, Brainiacs, and Shattering the Limit. In categories are Pepe Gals, uh, Space Traveling Warriors, and Bond of Friendship. So that is the Int Chilai. Now let's quickly talk about the Fasha as well, who is also really good, just not as unique as the as the Chilai, right? So Leader Skill is Low Class Warriors, or Pepe Gals Category Key Plus 3. HP attack and defense plus 130%, super attack, raises attack for one turn and causes supreme damage with a high chance of stunning the enemy. And passive is attack and defense plus 150%, guards all attacks for four turns from start of turn, really good, launches an additional attack that has a high chance of becoming a super attack starting from the fifth turn from the start of battle, plus an additional attack and defense plus 30% with each attack received up to 150%, plus an additional attack and defense plus 30%. Whenever a guard is activated, up to 150%. When there are three or more low-class warrior category allies, self-excluded, or three or more uh, peppy gals category allies, self-excluded on the team. Okay, so, um, as you can tell, she gets potentially a massive, massive attack and defense boost. Um, you know, guard for four turns from start of turn is really nice. And... Uh, you know, just a really good unit, but kind of basic, you know, it's just basically more attack and defense for taking attacks, more attack and defense for launching attacks, or, uh, no, sorry, no, no launching attacks, but just more attack and defense when certain conditions are fulfilled, which is always a good thing, but she doesn't have the, just, once again, uniqueness of this Chilai, so... Definitely a good unit to get, definitely a, you know, solid unit, but we want this Shilite, man. We, we really want this Shilite. Okay, going back to Fasha real quick. Lynx, Team Bardock, Saiyan Warrior Race, Saiyan Pride, Saiyan Lineage, Battlefield Diva, Prepare for Battle, Shattering the Limit, and categories are Low Class Warrior, Pre uh, Peppy Gals, Pure Saiyans, Team Bardock, Space Traveling Warriors, and finally, Storied Figures. And uh, of course, her additional boosts with each attack received are calculated separately for a total of attack and defense plus 525% after receiving 5 or more attacks during battle plus an additional attack and defense boost up to 900% starting from the turn in which card is activated for the 5th time in battle with 3 or more low class warrior or peppy gal allies, uh, category allies uh, on the team. So like I said guys, don't sleep on the fascia. Don't sleep on the Fasha. She is also a beast. But once again, Chilai just does everything. You know, it's just it's a very cool concept. Very, very cool unit. So um, I would be happy to get both, but I'll probably do a couple of multis. Try to get the Chilai. See what happens. But uh, again, the banner is going to suck. So don't go too crazy on it. It's really not worth your stones. But... Uh, it's going to be a hard skip for me, at least. So, anyways, that's going to do it for today's data download, guys. That was everything we got. And, uh, once again, a big shout-out to my boy, Prost on 10MG, for posting everything. Of course, these videos would not be possible without him. So, make sure you guys uh, 
go show him some love, of course. And that's it, guys. That's going to do it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. As always, if you liked the video, then make sure to like the damn video. Sub to the channel if you're new. Hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.